have much of anything, but he would give his clothes away. He had TBIs. He had um, he had uh, problems um, with his you know, getting knocked out. He got knocked out because they wanted him to be in a gang, but he refused to be. The police always tried to tie him to gangs, but he wasn't in a gang. And uh, he was very smart. He took criminal justice in San Jose. He uh, loved to play football. He knew how to play chess. He was a first responder. He was a foster parent at the age of 22. What? He uh, was very intelligent. He was the smartest of all my kids and the best parent right. out of all my kids. He was he would loved his his only son. EYA. <clears throat> he loved his only son who um is nine now. Mm. And always says that he he sleeps by his daddy in the in the skies in the clouds. He calls his daddy in the clouds. Mm. So uh, yeah. he was so proud. He brought him to me, and he this is this he, he that's all he ever wanted to do was to be a father. Oh, I have, Eli, yay. I, I have the backpack that he used to push the baby around with the stroller and have a backpack with a diaper and oh. all that in there. Oh. So he was a good father. So tell us what happened to your son with these evil agents of the state. Um, he was having to, a mental issue that day. I know it wasn't my son that came home and he threatened me. And it's, uh, of course, out of fear, I ran and I never should have, and if I would have known it was, it was they were gonna take his life, I wouldn't have done it, but I called the cops for help. That's okay, that's what we're taught. That's what hmm. we're taught, hon. That's what we're taught, They're the only answer. <sighs> And I heard the bullet that took his life. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. And then they took me into the interrogation room, and they lied to me, and they told me that, that they were working on him when they weren't. They weren't. They lied. He took me to the homicide unit right away. They locked me up in the interrogation room. And then I was interrogated another time. So I was interrogated twice like I was the criminal. Mm. Because you called them? Yes. Oh my God. I did. I was passed from lawyer to lawyer. These 420 lawyers that are, you know, no good, they're not criminal justice. The last lawyer I had was uh, a sex offender. He was caught online asking for photos what? from young girls. It's on. It's in the news. I'll oh send you the link for God. that. So that's the last lawyer I had. And um, so he... <clears throat> The last hearing, I was supposed to have 72 documents. I only had one. And so um, I want to try, I work with uh, Boston uh, Mass Action. And so um, they're trying to get us to go to the, uh, Washington to demand that they reopen the cases. Oh, so that has to happen. I have connections all across the United States. Oh. And, um, I do want to say that I do have uh, seven relatives, six, seven relatives, distant relatives, extended family that were killed by police. Raymond Gassman, uh, Jacob Archambault, Adam Forbear, uh, Benjamin Whiteshield, uh, Leroy Pamani, I don't think he's related, Benjamin Scott, uh, my son, Paul, passed away, and also my friend, Teresa Burns, lost her son here in Denver. His name is Black Horse Burns. Uh, my my sister relative uh, lost her brother. The cops bashed him in the back of the head. They, everyone thinks it, and it was never investigated. It's like, you know, my sister's murder was never investigated. So they, we think the cops did that mm. plus um, my son would always be beat up when uh, in his mug shots he would be beat yeah. so I think that's why he ran when they came yeah. 
he didn't want to go get beat up and go back to jail. Oh, it makes me sin so much. Mm. Every day, it's an everyday thing. It's not just right. something that goes away. No, it doesn't. Mm. No, it doesn't. It's been six years. Oh. Well, I don't know, you know, back then if they got uh, body footage cameras of the cops, they interacted with your son. Do you know about that? They ever released body footage camera, or they had body footage camera back in when they, you know, they killed your son, assassinated your son? No, they didn't have body cameras on, but there were two cameras uh, on the on the laundry mat that they let us see the ca the footage before they showed it to the police. So we saw it before the police did. So there is a lawsuit that you're, you're suing the the police. But it was dismissed because of my lawyer i can't find an appellate lawyer you know i need appellate lawyer to reopen my case yes well yes. he's currently asking for a lawyer okay so you heard the call for people's radio and pnn uh we, this sister sister ellen needs a lawyer a real lawyer yes and a revolutionary lawyer how about some of our indigenous brothers and sisters who got that paper Yes. Representing sis. There you go. That's what we need. That's what we need. Okay. Our own people to represent That's us. That's right. And we have some friends in the Bay who are that, so. Do you have a, a, a I don't know, a, a website or somewhere that if people want to help you and contact you or? They can also know, connect just, with us. They can just, email poormag at gmail.com. Perfect. And we'll make sure that Sister Lynn uh, gets the information. 